let's just give this a minute to get warm. Okay, so the parent crank pulley is gonna get here tomorrow. So now that the car's warmed up, I'm gonna go all the way to the floor to seven. tomorrow I'm gonna to install the parent crank pulley when it gets here and then uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison there he is just waiting for the UPS to make his rounds and finally get here just a couple houses down and we'll have the crank pulley And here we go. There we go. All right, right on time. What? I don't remember ordering a red one. So this is pretty easy to do. This is a bouncy, springy tensioner. And you just take a 14 and you go clockwise and it'll push down and to the left and it'll loosen up the belt. So just take the belt off, move it out of the way. Now you have access to the crank pulley. And the crank pulley, what you need is a breaker bar, preferably a really long handled one, but since that's kind of hard to get, just get a regular breaker bar, go to Home Depot, pick up like a, a lead pipe that's really long one that'll fit onto the handle of the breaker bar. And now you got a really super long breaker bar. It's got some weight on it, so you can use it to um, break that bolt. And once you broke the bolt, you can actually unscrew it with your hand and just take the bolt out. What you wanna do is carefully take off the crank pulley um, very, very gently wiggle it a little bit. You don't want to just yank it off because you might yank out the whole thing, the thing that it's attached to, and you don't want to do that because um, then you have to reassemble it and it's like big pain. With both pulleys next to each other, you can see both have a smaller hole that goes onto the pin to ensure the correct position. Before you put the parent one on, rub a little oil onto the backside of the inner ring, so, uh, the part that touches the crank. So when you have the crank on, uh, also rub a little oil on the bolt's threading and then under the bolt's head, uh, the part that touches the crank pulley. Then use a torque wrench, tighten it to 33 foot-pounds, um, and then you're going to take a sharpie to mark the pulley. So the bolt, it has four lines, each at 90 degrees. You're going to mark the pulley at two of those lines. Just pick any two that are next to each other that you can see, and uh, the go is to tighten the bolt so that the first line reaches about halfway between the two marks. So about 45 degrees. It doesn't have to be um, exactly right on the nose, but hey, it's cool if it does. Uh, and then put the belt back on in the right order. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so the parent crank pull is on. all warmed up. Now foot flat to the floor. So honestly, if it did something, it feels like it didn't add that much. I mean, compared to like if you add a light and flywheel, I'll take it for a drive and then see if it helped any with downshifting at least. Okay, driving around, it doesn't really feel like anything's too different. Um, although I have to say that uh, my car is slightly modified with uh, exhaust and stage one tuning. So um, it was already pretty peppy. I'm not really sure if this added any more peppiness to that, uh, especially on the low end. Um, 
So it, I, I don't know if it uh, is night and day difference with stock, um, but uh, with a stage one tune and exhaust, um, it doesn't feel too different. Yeah, downshifting is definitely a little better. That's what I feel the H6 and the VRZ is really all about. Um, you get this really good handling platform, but the power is a little, you know, it's a little iffy because um, they made some interesting choices. And then all you're trying to do is modify it and tune it to how you thought it should have been when it came off the factory. That's really that's really the, the purpose of this, the goal of the 86. talk online about lightweight solid crank pulleys because they don't have a harmony balancer or like the, the rubber piece that kind of softens the blow um, they say it in time it could damage other parts or wear out other parts faster but I wonder how much of that is true in any case um, yeah it's already on there so I'm not about to take it off again. So, should you get it? Yeah, why the heck not?